We all know the buzzwords, but what do they all mean for us, for our farmers and for food production levels? Ecosystems are communities of living things, plants, animals and microorganisms, together with elements of the physical environment in which they reside. The key to understanding ecosystems is the awareness of the link between the physical attributes of the land and these biological elements. This farm, like every farm, is part of a very delicate ecosystem. The rainforest supports a huge diversity of plant species and there are some amazing plants that grow in the rainforest on this very farm. What makes them so special are the associations and relationships between these plants, the insects, the animals, the fungi, the microorganisms and the cycles that link them all together. It's like an intricate family, with the huge trees being the nurturers, the young seedlings growing to one day fill that spot in the canopy and the rocky substrate that holds it all together. And it's all a living, breathing entity. I think it's really awe-inspiring. Biodiversity is the variety of all the different biological elements on a site. The different plants, animals and microorganisms, plus the habitats and ecosystems they need for survival. In order to maintain the vast biodiversity that currently exists in Australia, we need to ensure that ecosystems and habitats are protected. Habitat provides native animals the right space to shelter, feed and breed. Natural areas like the rainforest here have large numbers of native animals because of the wide variety of habitats that they provide. If you have a variety of habitats on the farm, then the chances are you'll have a greater range of native animals and plants. Habitat for native animals is not always easily recognisable. It could be a fallen log, a rock or a pile of leaves. So if you're unsure, it's best not to tidy up in case you're destroying someone's home. Buffers are the zones which help protect native areas from change and damage. Areas like this buffer zone at Picasso Corner are vital to the maintenance and protection of the rainforest behind it. It helps protect the core of the rainforest from edge effects such as strong winds and fluctuating temperatures that can damage the microclimate inside. A good buffer can help protect the rainforest from pesticides drifting into the rainforest. They can also increase habitat. Wildlife corridors provide linkages between two existing remnants of habitat in fragmented landscapes such as on a farm. Think of it like a house. The corridor links together rooms so you don't have to go outside and get wet by the rain or get burnt by the sun. These corridors are vital in enabling animals and plant species to move from one area to another. This ensures animals have the habitat they need to survive and aids both plants and animals with the maintenance of genetic diversity. Here's a wildlife corridor we've recently established which will link together the remnant rainforest down this end with the one up this end. Not only that, a healthy landscape means happy cows and happy cows means we all get to drink the most nutritious milk. <laughs>